Christmas, everyone! DVD reviews are back! And for the return of these reviews, we're looking at... Holiday Express. This is an interesting DVD. This DVD released in the US on November 3rd in 2009. It was later re-released here in the US on October 1st, 2014. <laughs> Weird date. Real quick, I want to point out two other things. In the UK, the DVD was called Christmas Express. And in Brazil, the DVD uses a CGI render for Thomas instead of a model. I don't know why this change was made, but whatever. On the US and Canada releases, there are six episodes. Thomas the Pussy's Christmas Adventure, Snow Engine, Henry's Lucky Truck, Don't Tell Thomas, Thomas Emily and the Snowplow, and Thomas's Frosty Friend. My favorite! Let's not get ahead of ourselves here though. Uh, we'll talk about Thomas' Frosty Friend when we get there. But we gotta get through the other episodes first. And we should probably get into those now. No need to waste time. What are my thoughts on this DVD? Well, let's find out. This is an interesting one. Despite the fact it is called Tom the Pussy's Christmas Event on this release, it's not about Christmas. For those who don't know, when the episode was brought to the US, it was turned to a Thanksgiving episode. And when they did that, they kind of messed up the episode. Great, great, great going, guys. The Unlucky Tug made a video talking about it, if you want to know more about the whole thing. As for my thoughts, this is a good episode. Though I think there were better went to the episodes they could have chosen. The Flying Kippo, Thomas and Mr. Christmas Tree, Oscar for Percy, Special Funnel, Snow, and It's Only Snow. I wonder what made them pick this specific episode for the release. They just do a good episode, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. But they were better options. As I say in my review of the greatest stories, I think the episode was great. Not one of the greatest, but whatever. I think this is the best episode on this release, which I think also says how the rest of the episodes are. I think one reason I really like this episode is because it's why I Billy saw the kid. I give this episode an 8 out of 10. And now my problems with this release are starting to review themselves. There's only two classic series episodes on here. Hell, oh, some people are still debating on whether season 7 is a classic series season or not. But let's point on, and there's this fun hit error. And the episodes from the hit error they picked aren't really the best. Fun fact, this is the only US DVD that has Honey's Lucky Day on it. And it shows why. This episode kind of sucks. I mean, I guess it was either this or Cold Truck is already on a different US release. But at least that episode was okay. This one is just bad. Henry's the one in the best here. And the episode is pretty boring. This is a very good episode. I give it a 3 out of 10. It's a bit of an improvement, I guess. I don't really like how Thomas is written here, and this one can be pretty boring too. But this one is fine, I guess. But there were two better episodes to use here. Luna takes charge, and James goes too far. I'll give this episode a 4.5 out of 10. Again, it's not bad, but it's not good either. And here's the thing, this is the better of the two season 8 episodes on here. I, 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 I don't know what to say. This episode is just so boring and forgettable. I mean, it could have been worse. It could have been Percy's new whistle. But man, this episode is just so boring. This, this is the most boring episode they picked for this release. Again, we had Gordon Takes Charles and James Go Too Far in Season 8. Both are actually good episodes. This episode really just blends in with most of the hit era. I give it a 4 out of 10. Why? Just why? Why didn't they pick Duncan's Bluff? That's a really good episode for season 10. And they didn't pick it! 
Hello, Tony Sookie Tweet, for as bad as it is. It's still better than this piece of crap dumb episode. This episode is so, 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 so stupid. It uses the simple three strike formula. The plot is stupid. Tony is a giant dumbass heel. This is one of the worst episodes from the hit era. One of the worst episodes in the whole show. And they picked it for this? This is without a doubt the worst episode on this release. This episode is a 1 out of 10. Get this out of here! I'm not gonna get much into the bonus features. There's only two games and they're not very special to this release. So those sounds and cargo challenges. I also don't have much to say about them. As if it's in World Call, there are no songs on this release. So, what are my overall thoughts on this DVD? This is a pretty weak DVD overall. A good chunk of these episodes are either boring or bad, and could have been replaced with better episodes. Even with Thomas and Percy's Christmas Adventure, there were better options for episodes. That episode is no engine, keeps the DVD from being completely bad, though they don't completely save it either. Overall, I would give it a 5 out of 10. I don't really recommend this DVD. Plus, there are way better winter D and DVDs out there. And now are my thoughts on Holiday Express. Hopefully these DVD reviews actually stick around this time. I might have a music video come out tomorrow, but if not, I hope all of you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thanks for watching everyone.